can't see! I can't see! Hey! Watch it! According to OSHA, there are up to 62,000 injuries in the U.S. that occur every year involving forklifts. To enhance safety in production, Walmart and Fox Robotics have partnered to deploy FoxBot autonomous forklifts in four distribution centers. This collaboration, marked by a multi-year agreement, also promises further expansion in the future. The FoxBot forklift has already possessed over 3 million pallet poles across North America since its 2021 commercial launch. Coming up, we'll look at just how these amazing forklifts operate, but first, it's our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Schneider Electric DPE Easy t sys 3-pole contactors offer power ratings of up to 32 amps and a remarkable operational life of 1 million electrical operations. With compatibility across multiple utilization categories, they ensure versatility and reliability. Paired with Easy t sys DPE R overload relays and Easy t sys GP2E manual motor controllers, these contactors offer UL certified solutions for typical motor operations. The Schneider Electric DPE Easy t sys 3 pole contactors come in diverse setups, catering to motor control, protection, resistive load switching, and isolation needs. Head over to Mauser.com and check them out today. Education provides a different kind of lift, and so it is that we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Connecting wires is one of the most critical parts in all of control engineering. And one of the most critical parts of connecting wires is having the right connectors at the ends of the wire. Now, it can be tempting to just strip off the end of a wire and twist it around and connect it into a relay. Well, the only problem is, if you twist it around, and then you're putting it into somewhere that you can't see very well, you're gonna have strands of wire sticking out and those are gonna cause serious problems. So instead, we turn to one of my favorite wiring tools, which is the ferrule and the ferrule crimp. A ferrule is a small piece of metal with a plastic shield that fits over the insulation so that not only does it hold all of the wire strands together, it also causes it to not be able to bend quite as sharply at the area where it enters into the terminal. The way we use this is we slip the ferrule over the end of the wire and we make sure that it passes over the end of the insulation. Ferrule crimps, which come in a few different styles, crimps over the end of the wire, leaving ridges. These ridges not only compress the wire inside the ferrule, but it also provides a place that grips it when it's put into spring terminals. So now, with our newly crimped wire, we can plug it into the screw terminal or into the spring terminal without fear of wire strands, short circuits, and other possible damage. It keeps the wiring much neater and makes it much easier for us to solve problems later on down the road. Andy, back to you. There's always one show off at work. The FoxBot functions as an autonomous tri-wheeled electric forklift employing advanced deep learning powered vision technology facilitated by LiDAR sensors, mounted cameras, and sophisticated software. At its core lies a proprietary AI machine learning system empowering the robot to make real-time decisions, capable of tasks like identifying power locations and executing precise load handling, the FoxBot can operate 24-7 with efficiency and precision, mitigating the potential for product damage and associated with manual forklift operations. But Foxtrot is still not satisfied with its current capabilities. To find out what a future forklift will look like, click the link and we'll see you there. 